We're in Banbury, Oxfordshire today to look at Olivia's Masonette deal. Let's go and find out how she's getting on, see if she's in. Hi Connor, welcome, welcome. Afternoon Olivia, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. Can you show us around? Of course I can, yeah. Huh? Come on sure. in. So Olivia, you explain the deal to us, what's going uh, on? So this is a two bedroom maisonette, um, it's in Banbury in Oxfordshire. It's, it's been completely renovated, like totally gutted, I think the only thing I've not changed is the front door that you've just seen. So um, I have, it has no roof, um, we've replaced all the roof, we've done all the loft, we've boarded the loft. We've done things like moving the um, boiler upstairs into the loft, which is why it's been boarded. Um, and we've literally taken all the walls down in here. We found all kinds of grotty nonsense, like a bee's nest <laughs> and dead mice and all kinds of horrible things. Uh, and then we've basically put everything back in again. So nice. that's where we are now. Um, we've had, I mean, just this today alone, loads of skirting boards have gone in, the bath has gone in and stuff's really started happening on it. So all really good. Do you want to show us around the rooms then? Tell us what's going on. Absolutely, yep. Yeah. Don't know where you want to start. Um, After you. Let's go with, I don't know. Let's Too many go... choices. Too many Let's choices. go left. Let's go with <laughs> small bedroom, okay. So we're in the bedroom now, Olivia. Yeah, so this is the small bedroom. So there's two bedrooms in this flat. This is the smallest one. Um, but it's quite a good one, this, because um, behind the shower doors, there's a built-in cupboard, which goes all the way back. Yeah. And we've put in a new cupboard as well, because, well, I'll show you in a minute, but we took out a big cupboard over there. So we thought to replace that, we will put in a new cupboard to... That's great so space over, isn't it? Absolutely. And this goes all the way back. I don't know if you want me to open it. Let's have a look inside if you want. Ooh, oh, lovely. That's really handy, isn't it? Very, very useful cupboard. Yep. Yeah. Can we move on to the next room? So Olivia, we're in the bigger bedroom now. What's the design of this room going to look like? So this room is going to be nice, light white and bright, um, so it's staying white. The um, design wise, we haven't done a huge amount, but we have taken out a big wardrobe. Um, originally there was a wardrobe just here, and when you came in it was kind of a dingy corridor and then it kind of opened out into the bedroom. So by removing that wardrobe, it's opened up the space, giving you a lot more versatility with where you can put beds and other furniture and that sort of thing. And yeah, it opens it out a bit really, so. Oh, that's lovely. So have you changed the layout at all the mason at all? Um, we've started to change, change two things, one in the bathroom and one in the kitchen. So shall we go and have a look? Let's go. So Olivia, this is the bathroom. What's happening? So in the bathroom, we've actually made quite a few changes. So this maisonette used to have a warm air heating system. So we've taken the warm air heating system out completely. I mean, it wasn't obviously being used before anyway. Um, so there was all this, there's a big cupboard just here with a door here. And there was kind of just loads of old, hot air type stuff in there. And it was kind of used as a broom cupboard basically. So we've taken the cupboard out completely, put a shower. Um, nice. So full walk-in shower. And then the, the bathroom did have a bath, a sink and a loo. So now it's gonna have a bath, sink, loo and a shower, which is gonna hopefully um, increase the value, make it a lot more desirable to anyone wanting to come and live here. Um, and thinking about a tenant, because obviously this is gonna be a buy to let, it's two bedrooms, so I'm probably either gonna have working professionals or a family. And if you've got a family, especially if you've got young kids in, they're gonna want to have a bath, which is why it was important to have the shower and the bath um, together. Yeah, it looks amazing. You've got this lovely sliding door. Yeah, this is awesome. That's a real space saver. Yeah, pocket door. That's it. So we use these in a lot of HMO on suites, for exactly the same reason. Yeah, brilliant. They don't take much space. It's a real simple exercise and they work, don't they? They do, absolutely. Shall we move on to the kitchen? Okay. So this is the living room, and this is again one of the rooms that we've really changed because we've now got an open plan kitchen, which we didn't have before. So this room was a lounge and a separate kitchen with kind of a big wall here and a door to go into the kitchen. And we've knocked all the walls down and opened it up because the kitchen in itself was quite tiny and it had quite a big window. So we thought, well, let's just let a lot more light into this big room and have everything nice and open plan and lovely. So where's the, it's from how does is it the kitchen? It is, yeah. Great stuff. Did you get a good discount? I did, yeah. Decent discount. I, in fact, I bought this in their sale last year, so uh, that's how long I've been doing this project <laughs> for. <laughs> this is the longest 
ever buy to let. Longest buy ever buy to let project I've ever done in terms of actual refurb. Um, not the longest one I've ever done, but the longest refurb I've ever done, yes. So when um, did you actually acquire this property then? I bought it on the 12th of December 2023. And what are the numbers on this project? I bought it for 125,000 and it should revalue at either 190 or 200, 200 if I'm lucky. And I am renting it out at a minimum of 1,200 pounds a month and hopefully 1250 if I can. Nice, it's a good return. Nice good return, and it's a nice location as well, so I'm expecting to get some decent tenants in here. It's close to the hospital, it's six minutes walk into town, um, it's close to the motorway, it's, I mean, Banbury's just useful for everything really, because it's just a nice central location yes. in the UK. So um, we have got a lot of people moving here from Oxford and London, because it's a lot cheaper here than it is um, in the cities. So um, yeah, it's a pretty good, good area really. Sure. And you've got Morrison's right there as well. I mean, it's just, there's nothing not to enjoy about this. It's got car parking, it's got garden. Um, so it ticks all the boxes then? It certainly does, yeah. Great and stuff. stack up as well. Yeah, it's a great deal. So Olivia, what strategy have you used for this project? So this is a buy to let strategy, but probably more specifically, it's a kind of refurb to let strategy um, because I bought it with the view to the fact that it was relatively cheap because it needed some work doing and we've renovated it completely um, and then it will be let out on the open market uh, as a buy to let, hopefully to young professionals or hospital workers, um, that sort of thing. And in simple terms, can you tell us what a buy to let actually is? Yeah, it's a property that you buy and then you rent to a family or a working professional couple um, and that sort of thing. And they just pay you the rent every single month. And you then take the rent coming in, you pay your mortgage or any finance that you have on the property, and then you pocket the difference, um, which is your cash flow. And numbers wise, how's this project stacking up for you? Uh, this project's been really good actually. So I bought it for 125,000, um, which it was marketed at 130, but managed to get it for 125. And and um, it should rent at about 1200 or 1250. So I'm hoping for the 1250, uh, which is lovely. Um, I've got a bridge on this at the moment, which finishes in November. And um, I have got, what else have I got to repay? I'm going to remortgage it. So my plan here is to refinance, pay off the bridging loan. And then the mortgage hopefully will be a lot less um, in terms of monthly outgoings and the bridge. And any rental income I get obviously will pay the mortgage first and then I'll pocket the difference. Nice. I've also got an angel on this as well. Um, my angel is happy to keep their money in the project. So um, obviously I've factored that in as well. So um, ideally I've been thinking about the numbers and I'm fairly certain that a mortgage will come in around 700 pounds a month. My angel will have 200 pounds a month and I will have 300 pounds a month. So that is how that will work. So that's a win? Definitely. So thanks for today, Olivia. It's been absolutely brilliant seeing your project. Pleasure. We look forward to seeing you on the next one. Thanks very much indeed. Thank you.